Hi, I'm Mark Calloway, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the former plugin for Revit and the interoperability between the two applications. So, former, if you're not aware, is a conceptual design and analysis application. In this particular project, we've made a very simple model. We want to get this concept that we've designed within former into the Revit application where we can further work um, on the detailing for that. We also want to be able to bring any changes that we've made within Revit back into Former. As mentioned, Fauna is an analysis software. We can do some um, basic um, analysis, such as the amount of hours a particular part of the project uh, will receive in terms of um, sun, uh, the daylight, potential, wind, noise. We have all these um, different tools at our um, disposal. So. First of all, you're going to need to download the plugin for Revit. In order to do that, the easiest way is through Former. Once you're inside Former, on your menu on the left hand side, just simply head to the navigator, find your current pr proposal. You'll always have one proposal, you may have multiple proposals. And you've got the three little dots in the top right hand corner there. Clicking on that, you'll see we have access to the option for Revit. And in here, we can download the Revit add-in for Former. Once that's downloaded and installed, we'll be able to access um, this Former project from within Revit. With that done, if I just simply jump across to the Revit application, I've already started a new blank project. And if you head over to the Massing and Site tab, you will now find a group on here for Former. Now, before we can load in our proposal from Former, we have to make it available. Again, jumping back to Former, going back to our proposal and clicking on the three little dots, go to Revit, and we have this Send to Revit option here. Simply click on that, and it will make the proposal available to Revit. Inside Revit, I can now go to the Load Proposal option. I can choose to load in the proposal, but before I do that, I do have some options available to me. I will get access to these options as well if I simply click on the Load Proposal, but we can customize these options um, beforehand should we wish. And this is just gonna control how that proposal is imported into Revit. For example, we have a section here for Elements, we can choose whether Revit is going to create walls, floors and roofs for the various former components, uh, parking spots, what you want to do with any vegetation that you've added within former. We have all these options available here. Clicking on load proposal. And this whole process, depending on your internet connection, may take um, a number of seconds to run through. We have a preview of the proposal. This is a bird eyes view of the project. So we can see this is the project that we were looking at a second ago. Again, I do have access to the options if I want to customize them at this point. But I'm just going to go ahead and click the load button. This process for the complexity of the model we're downloading from Former probably will take maybe a minute, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit longer. We'll see how it goes. So it's now downloading the, downloading the data from Former, and it's now creating the elements within Revit. It will also bring in the site as well from Former too. If we've used satellite imagery, and we've had the option turned on, we'll be able to access that from within Revit as well. It's telling me in this case, a few issues may have occurred during this. I'm not gonna review the warnings here. I'm just gonna simply close that. And we now have the project from Former. I'm just going to make things look a little bit nicer and just change this 3D view to realistic. And you can see we've got the map imagery as well from Former. But that proposal has now come through. Revit's taken the design within Former and it's generated Revit elements. So we have Revit walls, Revit floors, Revit roofs. It's even gone ahead and it's created all the levels as well required for the flaws within the project. This works both ways. So we can model within Revit 
and we can add any changes back to the former application. As mentioned, we can run a variety of tests and analyses within former. So we'll just make a very simple change, um, just something speedy, so we're not spending too much time modeling and a bit more time looking at former. So I'm just going to simply add an out building. I can access all the usual walls for the proposed elements. Revit's created some new wall types for us, so they're easy to access and convert over to other wall types, should we wish. I'm just going to pick one of these just to keep things simple. I'm just going to make a simple rectangular outbuilding, maybe over here. Something a little bit like that. I'm not going to bother modeling anything else there. We'll just simply get this change into former. So first thing we need to do is again head back to our massing and site tab where we can update our proposal within Former. Fairly speedy process, but again, the amount of changes that needs to be uploaded will control how long this takes. We can see here that it's detected the four walls and the four Revit elements have been added to Former. There we go. If we now head back over to Former, having made our changes within Revit, we just need to simply refresh the web page. So hitting F5 on your keyboard or the refresh button. We're already looking at proposal one on this page. And we can see the Revit elements have now come through. And we have these former elements here. I can now rerun any of the tests available within former. Let's just go ahead and do that for the fun of it. And I can now see what impact the changes I've made within Revit has had on the design. I can then, again, customize the design until I get the required uh, results. And that's all there is to it, really. Make sure you've got the Revit plugin downloaded from Former. Start yourself a new project within Revit. Head to the Massing and Site tab, and within the Former group, you can load in your proposal. And using that Synchronize button, or the Reload button, we can now send the data back and forth between Former and Revit. Thank you for watching.